Please take care of Cosmos. And everyone. Please, give it a second thought. I'm sorry. Chief. A female form? Yes. Since ancient times, women always healed people's hearts and granted them hope. But there have been a lot of men who were healers, too. Historical records have always been compiled from a male point of view. And besides, men are creatures capable of nothing but destruction and conquest. It's important to choose a female form when it's going to be a creator or protector. Did I say something strange? No, it's just funny to see you with a gentle expression while you lecture with such intensity. <laughs> really? Why did you decide to make Cosmos, Kevin? Is it to protect humanity? Well... It's true that Gnosis are a grave threat to mankind's existence. So wanting to protect people from that threat is part of it. But more than that, there's something much stronger inside me. Stronger? Everything exists for a reason. If the Gnosis represents a truth we haven't known before, then I want to know what that is. The truth about Gnosis. I think that may actually be the shortcut to saving this universe. I know you can do it, Kevin. You'll build Cosmos, and you'll find that meaning. So, they've cancelled the project. It's my fault. Kevin would be sad. Everything is unfinished. I'm sure even Cosmos won't be satisfied. <sighs> no, I'm the one who's not satisfied. I can't go on leaving things unfinished like this. I have to go see Cosmos. It appears part of the S-Line Division data leaked. It's her handiwork. It seems she's working very hard. The leak includes information about that program. It doesn't matter. They have little power. Actually, it's all rather endearing. They think their cage is the entire world. And they believe they can change it. Let's just watch over them for a while. But enough of that. How did things go at Renlu Chateau? Is everything ready? Everything is proceeding as planned. The transport to Fifth Jerusalem is complete. We are ready for the Zohar project demonstration. Do you intend to leave that location as is? Yes. Ormus needs a sign that they can see with their own eyes. As long as they have their proof, they will continue to sacrifice themselves to protect their idol. For that is the source of their hope. There isn't much time left for her as well. Contact with Cosmos has taken its toll on her. 
You must succeed this time. I understand. I will tend to her myself. She emits good wavelength, just as you said. Thank you. Save the game? This is awful. Yes. This battle resulted in the destruction of the 87th Division fleet. Now the Mictum system has, for all practical purposes, fallen under Ormus control. And so, history repeats itself. It's the exact same situation as 100 years ago. As long as people have self-preservation instincts, there will always be conflicts. The consciousness that makes us who we are is an inseparable part of life. Only death awaits people who abandon their human nature. So everything is dictated by the laws of nature? That does sound like you, Helmer. But even that is in danger of being destroyed by the Gnosis, if things continue on like this. That's what the Zohar Project is for. I hear that the tactical warship Merkaba is already complete. According to the remaining fragments of the Y data, the Merkaba, just like the Proto Merkaba, is a device that existed since ancient times. And Dimitri decided to turn it into a weapon. When Albedo obtained the Y data from Momo's subconscious domain, Dimitri obtained it as well by some unknown method. That bastard Dimitri. Who would have thought he would use Joachim's dark relics? This must be hard on you. I'm more worried about how Momo would feel if she learned about this. I can't bear to see her sad. You're a good mother. Well, I'm trying. I'm sorry, but I will need you to keep an eye on Dimitri a little while longer. Isn't this sort of job your specialty? Perhaps in the past. Now I'm the Milshin representative. I can't make any moves out in the open. Just restraining the Salvatore faction in Parliament keeps my hands full. You have my sympathy. Farewell. Are you busy? Kanan! No, it's fine. Have you found any information about the object? This is what it looks like under the UMN Resonating Telescope at maximum magnification. According to the information we obtained unofficially from Vector, this object is called Rennes le Chateau. There's no way to prove this, but apparently it's a landmass that belonged to Lost Jerusalem. Even if, as you say, this is in fact a relic of Lost Jerusalem, why has it appeared now? There is also a record of an unusual number of Gnosis appearing in that region of space. Ormus appears interested in it as well. There's likely to be some connection. The only way to obtain more data on it is to make direct contact with the target. What do you propose about assembling an expedition team? I've already commissioned the Kukai Foundation. This isn't public due to the number of Ormus members in the military and parliament. A wise decision. Was she on doing well? Yes, she seemed fine. Though I'm not sure if I approve of her new associates. Ah, uh, Skientia. Their technical skills are impressive. Vector has been acting suspiciously since the Gnosis terrorism. We'll use anything we can in order to find the truth, even outlaws. Please continue your investigation on the UMN. It must be difficult for you since you were born at Vector, but there's no one else I can ask. I'm currently under the jurisdiction of the Milshin government. 
and I've also received orders from Representative Helmer to cooperate with you. Do not worry about me. Thank you. Parliament and the military both have their hands full dealing with Ormus. And we can't ignore a request from committee member Mizrahi. Nah, don't worry about it. We're getting bored anyway. It'll be a nice change of pace. Right? That's right. It's unofficial, but we have information that an Ormus fleet is headed there as well. Either there's something there that Ormus needs, or maybe... Just because we don't know what it is, doesn't mean they don't. Either way, if we make direct contact, we're sure to find out something, right? I envy your attitude. But I wish you'd think a little more about my position. Oh well, that's the little master for ya. The matter is surrounded by sensitive political issues. If I could, I'd go with you. But I can't leave Fifth Jerusalem for a while. Take care of the place while I'm gone, you two. If he gives you any trouble, don't hesitate to scold him. You got it. Understood. <laughs> like he really envies me. He's dumped all the hard stuff on us. I'm gonna make him write all the reports when this is done. Little Master, are you really going to be okay with just the Elsa? Wouldn't it be a good idea for us to go too? Don't worry. It's just going to be a reconnaissance, so Elsa's small size is better suited. Just keep the Durandal in the back for support. Anyway, we've got ESs. There's nothing to worry about. Little Master, I don't mean to dampen your enthusiasm. But large-scale Gnosis appearances have been detected in that region of space. Please take appropriate caution. I know. We're almost there. I'll contact you later. Margulis, I've put Richard and Herman in charge of dealing with... the Federation fleet moving towards Renlu Chateau. <laughs> They seem to be highly compatible with the vessels of Anima. Yes. The Federation will be unable to offer any real resistance against ES craft. This should keep them quiet for a while. Hmm. What's wrong? You're not yourself. Are you feeling sentimental after returning to our homeland? Pellegri, what do you see before you? Mictum. The mummified world that spreads before our eyes. This is what is left of the birthplace of Ormus. A world destroyed 18 years ago. By Federation barbarians who foolishly unleashed the Zohar. Yes, it is our homeland wiped from the records. In order to cover up the Federation's mistakes. But why are we here now? What lies on this world ruled by death and gnosis? Isn't our goal to return to lost Jerusalem? Everything is the will of Lord Heinlein. It is not for us to know. He has stated that this world will rise again. Then it must mean that it will. Already Ren Le Chateau has returned. The holy land of Renlu Chateau? Our cradle, which once existed on lost Jerusalem. Where our blessed saint sleeps. If the reappearance of the tomb heralds the revival of our homeland, then we must protect our holy land at all costs. Reporting, sir. 
A Kukai Foundation vessel is approaching the region in question. It appears to be a Lohengrin class freighter. Hmm. Helmer's dogs. <laughs> Perhaps I'll meet him again. Prepare the Prodigium for launch. We're going to Rennes le Chateau. Pretty big. More like an asteroid than a rock formation. It's 70 kilometers in diameter. Unable to determine mass due to abnormal gravitational fields. Still, these values seem to be rather unusual. I didn't think anything this size could cause such a gravitational disturbance. Gravity roughly 1g around the object. But that seems rather strange. Wait. W what is this? Looks like a large portion of land from somewhere. It could even be the remains of a destructed planet. No, the shape of the underside looks too uniform for that. It appears to have been artificially cut away from its original mass. Multiple unidentified craft are approaching. Tony! Damn it! Is that Ormus? It's nice of them to greet us. Continue your approach to the island to collect data. We can handle these guys ourselves. Little master. Now wait just a second. Is he telling us to go there by ourselves? No way in hell. We don't get any hazard pay. Damn escort! Now go do what you're paid to do! The Elsa. It's safe. It's gathering data at coordinates KZ255 
Y724. Okay. Momo and Jin, you go guard the Elsa. Right. Roger. Junior, enemy reinforcements. They don't know when to give up. How many are there this time? Just one. And it's after. The Elsa. You're on the way. What? <gasps> Be gone! Well, well. Your inexperience is beginning to show! Is that a new model? Momo, stay back! I'll take him down! <sighs> what? A black ES. It's agility. Swordsmanship. Uzuki. 